Anyone? Adi over Arju ke doktor? Ha, ya yeah, betul. Alright, ha, ya yeah, betul yang untuk ni. So, should be RD over RU, betul? Okay, so daripada sini <coughs> kita kena letak uh, balik semula lah equation dia. Alright, okay so um, you summarize sebenarnya you boleh uh, apa simplifykan dia kan which is uh, boleh bagi jawapan ke sesiapa? Apa final yang you dah simplify kat sini? Okay, 10 over 100 berapa? 10 bahagi 100 berapa? 0.1 Alright, thanks. Okay, 0.1 betul. Exponent to the power of negative 8000 minus bit minus minus 1000 should be berapa? Minus 7000. <coughs> okay, K over T. Okay, so how about this one? CA, kalau CA, uh, this one, CA dengan over CA1 minus, dia akan jadi berapa? CA berapa? <coughs> Anybody wants to give the answer? CA to the power berapa kalau you dah simplify? Anyone wants to answer? Uh, have you done ke tak this question? CA half ke doktor? Uh, yes, it should be this one half sebab 1 minus dengan half, jadinya half. Okay, so how about CB? CB negative half. Thank you very much. So CB negative half. So bila negatif kita bawa ke atas, dia akan jadi uh, CB negative half. Okay. So this is the uh, equation. Okay. So sekarang ni, uh, adakah CA lebih besar daripada CB? Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Okay. So sekarang CA adalah lebih besar daripada CB. Okay. So one of the method kita nak increase the selectivity, kita kena buat apa? Increase A. Ya yeah, betul. So kita kena increase A. Tapi CB kita kena maintain low. Okay. So what kind of reactor is uh, suitable? CSPR. Uh, yes. Alright. So kita boleh guna, um, dia ada tiga cara. Okay. Sama ada you guna. Semi batch, okay, reactor, uh, sorry, reactor, whereby the B um, is fed slowly. Okay, so semi batch reactor ni dia contain A. Okay, so semi batch ni dia separuh je masuk. Okay, and dia tak, dia, dia tak ada keluar lah. So yang masuk ni adalah B kita fedkan dia dalam concentration yang rendah slowly. Okay, another one kita boleh guna tadi kawan you kata uh, CSTR. Okay. So uh, boleh juga CSTR tapi uh, boleh cakap kalau uh, kita tak boleh cakap CSTR dengan concentration A. Okay. Sebab selalu ni dia kena ada diluent kat situ. So kita boleh cakap using a series of CSTR. Okay. So uh, first kita akan fat with A. Okay, to first reactor. Ni salah satu je lah. Dia sebenarnya macam-macam solution. It's just that uh, as long it is uh, relevant and logic, uh, it's accept acceptable. Okay, so and then uh, and B ni akan fed to each fed to each reactor. Okay, so we have a CSTR here. Okay, so the first one kita masukkan A. On the same time, kita akan masukkan B. Alright. 
uh, tapi B untuk second ni uh, B kita fat uh, at the small amount sorry this is should be in the small amount amount ok so this is E ok atau lagi satu pun kita boleh guna uh, uh, PFR ok mm, which is uh, boleh juga kita boleh tulis continuous uh, fit B with low concentration with low concentration ok ataupun you boleh cakap lah PFR uh, uh, apa tu with uh, Uh, fit A with high concentration. Okay, terbalikkan sahaja. Okay, so daripada situ juga sebenarnya uh, you boleh jugalah tengok apa dia uh, temperature. Okay, uh, sebab dia beri, dia, dia beri juga untuk this one. Okay, so dalam sini dia tak cakap dengan, uh, dia tak cakap pun uh, you kena tengok sama ada temperature ataupun concentration. Okay, so either one should be okay. Alright, tapi kalau the question ask you to um, uh, to analyze in term of temperature, you kena analyze juga temperature lah dari segi ED dengan EU. Okay, mana satu lebih besar, you kena analyze lah sama ada ED lebih besar dari EU ataupun ED is much lower than EU. So, how you need to control the temperature, okay? Is it uh, variable in a high temperature ataupun is it uh, variable in low temperature, okay? So, for the second uh, one, okay, uh, same goes like this one. Okay, tapi it's just that, okay, sekarang ni kalau you CA dengan CB ni, dia dah tak jadi dependent. Because of what? Uh, Justa, you want to answer? Sebab kenapa sekarang ni concentration dah tak, tak reliable dah to analyze? Justa, you want to give your opinion? Uh, sorry, sorry doctor. Ya. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go? Uh, do you want to uh, give your opinion? Uh, why does uh, in this case for num uh, for the B questions, okay, uh, you cannot analyze in term of concentration anymore? What do you what uh, What do you think? Kenapa? Uh, because the concentration is M. Is it is what? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, because the concentration is the same. Is it? Yes. Right, okay. So when you do, uh, thank you Jista for the answer. That's correct answer. So when you equate like this, okay, you already cancel uh, RG and over RU since you have CA, CB over CA, CB. So you already cancel it, okay. So means that uh, CA is equivalent to CB. Okay, so you have, you cannot, um, what do you call it, uh, anal analyze in term of the concentration anymore, but you can analyze in term of the temperature right now okay so this one not valid anymore okay all right so from here okay uh which uh is it ed higher than eu or ed less than eu okay anyone wants to answer okay so this is the ed anyone audrey ED, ED ah, okay. less than EU. ED what? Yes, it should be ED less than EU, okay? Sebab you tengok sekarang ni uh, 1000 is less than EU, uh, less than 8000. Oh, okay? ini okay. untuk yang A ke medium? Eh, untuk B. B, oh B, okay. Okay, okay? Uh, tapi, uh, okay, tak apa, it's okay. Uh, jawapan ni sepatutnya, uh, terima kasih tau. Uh, may I know your name? Sebab saya tak nampak interface your nama. Zahid. Ah, Zahid. Okay, thank you Zahid. Okay, so sekarang ni ED is less than EU. Okay, so bila ED is less than EU, you can analyze lah uh, whether this one is um, uh, good in a high temperature or should, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, should uh, operate in low temperature. Okay, so remember kalau ED less than EU ataupun kalau you nak senangnya, EU ada lebih daripada ED, means that dia kena temperature, uh, kena operate in a low temperature lah. Okay. So, dia kena, uh, this is must be, uh, uh, apa tu, uh, do it in a low temperature. Okay. So, uh, this one also, uh, you boleh, uh, 
uh, suggest lah ada selectivity. Okay, uh, so sele uh, selectivity ni adalah lebih kurang macam uh, yang sebelah tu lah. Uh, yang sebelum ni I cakap, which is uh, semi batch. Uh, A is being bad fat to B and so on. Okay. Okay, so uh, yang ni uh, mostly you kena tunjuk lah mana satu yang untuk low, yang uh, favorable untuk low temperature. Okay. Alright, so number second. Alright, so the oxidation of propanol to form an aldehyde B is carried out in CSCR. Okay, so sekarang ni dia dalam bentuk CSCR. On a catalyst of 4% of CR on aluminium uh, oxide ni. So unfortunately the aldehyde B is also oxidized on this catalyst to form carbon dioxide. Okay, so kalau you tengok reaction ni sebenarnya reaction ni adalah series ke ataupun uh, ataupun uh, parallel. Sekarang ni propanol dia akan menghasilkan aldehyde and aldehyde ni pula dia akan menghasilkan lagi satu which is carbon dioxide. Okay, so is it parallel or is it series? Anyone? <coughs> Anyone wants to answer? Uh, Nur Ain, you ada tak? Aini, sorry, Aini. Uh, jangan takut jawab je uh, sebab kalau salah ke, um, salah ke, tu tu saya tak akan marah ni. Ya? Yeah? Series. Ya, yeah, betul. Thank you very much. This one should be in series. Okay, sebab propanol uh, dia akan uh, produce to B, aldehyde, and B akan produce to C. Okay, so this is um, this is a series of reactions. Okay, so you just uh, label it as a K1 uh, red constant for the first reaction and second reaction you just label it as K2. Okay, so from here uh, you need to do some derivation. Okay, sebab you need to get what is CB. Alright, what is CB in the term of T. Okay, remember kalau daripada sini dia nak dapatkan T memang of course usually kita akan integrate lah. Okay, sebab back to the basic law of the rate of reactions. Okay, which is, okay, kita buat salah satu for this side, okay, which is A to B, which is K1, okay. So, what is the rate of reactions here? Equal to what? Anyone want to answer? Untuk yang first ni. Apa rate of reaction? Okay, cepat sebab saya nak tahu sama ada you all faham ke tak. Anyone? Cepat, faster sebab kita ada banyak lagi soalan. Just random jawab je. For this one, what is the rate of reactions? K1CA. Yeah, betul. Thank you very much. Should be K1CA. Okay, betul. Alhamdulillah, faham. And then we have another one which is B to C, K2. Negative R2A, what, what is the equation for the rate of reaction? K2. Uh -huh, okay, K2 and then? CB. Yes, betul, right. So K1CA and K2CB, thank you very much. Okay, so from here, remember, kalau this is of reaction, dia berkait semua. Okay, so daripada situ, uh, you kena tengok lah, uh, uh, this is the one that... Um, according to the uh, rate of, of series. So, you kena tambahkan dia. Okay. So, daripada situ, you kena derive. So, CB ni, kalau you tengok dekat tengah-tengah, dia akan berkaitan dengan A. Okay. So, daripada situ, you kena derive dulu CA. Okay. Sebab, anyhow, CB ni akan relate dengan CA. Okay. So, uh, CA, what is CA? You kena uh, tengok baik, this is a CSTR. Okay. Which is, uh, kita assume V is equal to V0. Okay, so you kena derivekan dia start daripada RA. Okay, so remember 1 over V0 DNA over DT 
is equals to RA. Okay, so daripada sini disebabkan dia CACR, so directly dia akan jadi DCA over DT is equal to RA. Okay, so RK here, okay, what you need to do at time zero, you kena integrate kan dia. So you kena integrate at T0 to T to any T. Alright, so uh, basically you will have RA net. Okay, RA net adalah campuran daripada dua ni. Summation of both of these uh, rate of uh, reactions. Okay, whereby you have a K1CA. Alright, last with the K2CB. Okay, so from here, uh, we look at the species A first. Okay, for species A. Alright, so from here, we have a DCA over DT is equal to negative K1 CA okay, plus K2 CB. Okay, so in this case, kalau at temperature, eh, sorry, at T0, okay, CB ni tak form lagi. Okay, so kita boleh omitkan dia. Okay, so you just uh, integrate this one. Okay, in order for you to get what is CA. CA in, uh, is in term of what? And you have, uh, you have T here, okay? You can integrate kan, you akan dapat CA, CA0, E to power of K1, T. Okay, so daripada situlah you akan relate pula what is CB. Sebab CB adalah DCB over DT is equals to RB. Okay, so daripada sini RB, you can tengoklah what is RB. Okay, kena RB. Sebab kalau you tengok B ni berkaitan dengan A dengan C. So, dia kena ada dua rate of reactions. Rate, rate of reaction part ni dengan rate of reaction part this one. Okay, it's just that dia punya sign akan berbeza lah. Tengok B ni dekat kedudukan mana. Kalau first reaction ni, B dia dah kedudukan dekat product. So, it should be positive rate of reaction. Kalau dia dekat sini pula, second one dia jadi reactant. So, dia akan jadi negative. Okay, so automatically this one RB net is equals to K1CA minus with the K2CB. Okay, so daripada situ, uh, you kena integratekan dia lah macam dalam lecture notes tu. Okay, so you kena tukarkan CA ni in term of this one yang you dapat, masukkan balik. Okay, lepas tu you kena integratekan, you dapatlah CB is equal to some things. Okay, so ini you uh, you tengok pada uh, uh, lecture notes yang sebelum ni. Okay, yang hari selasa kita uh, belajar tu. Okay, faham ke tak? Uh, uh. Faham ya? Okay, so kita proceed to uh, question number six, eh, uh, number three. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the equation. Okay, there are three equation. Whereby we have A plus 2B is equal to C plus D. And then we have 2 D plus 3A equal to C plus E and B plus 2C D plus F. Okay. So this is the set of equation and given here are the rate of reactions. Okay. So they are uh, given lah here. And then uh, the question also provide you with the value of the K. Alright. For each of this one. Okay. And then uh, with the volumetric uh, flow rate and also the initial concentration of A and also B. Okay. So uh, B is the desired product. Okay, so B here adalah desired. Okay, so C, D, E and F actually is the undesired one. Okay, um, the specific rate reaction are 27 degrees Celsius. The reaction system is to be operated at 27 degrees Celsius and 4 ATM. Pure air enters the system at the flow rate of 10 decimeter cube per minute. Okay, so the first one is uh, you have to sketch, okay, the instantaneous selectivity SBX, SBY and SBX, RT over RXY as a function of the concentration of A. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is, uh, you have to, what do you call it? Uh, you have to uh, sketch, okay, you just uh, randomly put the value of CA. Okay, so the first thing is, you need to know 
you need to derive what is SBX. Okay, so what is SBX? You tengoklah dia dekat bahagian mana. Okay, we have B here. Alright. And eh, jap, kenapa I punya soalan ni macam lain dengan ni eh? Soalan. Ke I terbagi salah? Oh, okay. Baru saya faham. Saya tersalah bagi soalan sebenarnya. Allah wabar. This one is not the, patutlah saya rasa lain macam. Oh, okay. So, this one should be A to X. Sorry, sorry sangat. And then A to B. Patutlah saya rasa macam lain macam ni soalan. A to Y, okay. So, this one is RX equals to KYCA half. And then we have a RB is equal to K to CA. And then we have a RY is equal to K3 CA to the power of 2. Okay. So given that K1 is equal to 0.004 mole over decimeter cube half. Okay mean. Okay sorry eh. You tulis lah ni soalan ni. Sorry. 0.3. Dia punya ni dia salah. Dia punya rate of reaction. Tapi soalan bawah ni uh, betul. Yang ni dah betul lah. Okay. This one is true. This one yang I tersalah uh, piece. Okay, so and then we have a K2 is 0 0.3 uh, minute and then we have a K3 is equal to 0 0.25 decimeter cube mole over mean. Okay, so this is uh, the correct one. Okay, I paste the wrong one. Sorry, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so the, uh, you should uh, refer to this equation, eh? the one that I uh, I wrote down just now. Okay. So uh, from here, you can sketch. Bila ada perkataan sketch tu, you can sebenarnya adalah uh, dia punya what they call it X and Y axis. Okay. So from here, you can buat three kind of graph lah. Which is uh, SBX untuk Y, 1. And then SBY untuk uh, Y, 2. And this one is for Y, 3. Okay. So tiga graph berbeza. Okay, and the X would be the concentration of the CA. Okay, so uh, you just uh, uh, letaklah table macam ni. Okay, tapi I letak ni sebab nak macam sekali arung je. Tapi you kena, uh, uh, what you call it, kena um, uh, separate lah between uh, each of this graph. Okay, so uh, SBX is the one you can tengok. Dia dekat area minor. Okay, so B dekat sini kan. Sekarang ni B adalah desired and X is undesired. Okay. So daripada situ dia nak X B dengan X means that B sekarang ni adalah desired which is we have a R dekat uh, what do you call it? Dekat R dekat D. Okay. Over dengan dekat X. Mana X kedudukan dia? Okay. 